मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द टीचर्स क्लब माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर तरुण शर्मा आई एम पीएचडी इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम थापर यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला एंड फ्रॉम द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस बैंगलोर ग्रुप जॉइंटली वर्क ले सो टीचर्स क्लब्स हेल्प्स द स्टूडेंट टू क्लियर द डाउट्स इन द मैथ साइंस सोशल साइंस इंग्लिश एंड वेरियस अदर स्टडी एरियाज students have so many doubts in their studies and they go regularly to the tuitions and other thing so what in this our video channel we will uh, help the students to clear the fundamental doubts in every subject so if you like our channels our video you can uh, like share subscribe and press bell icon buttons okay so today in my lecture i will tell you about the fundamental concept of the fiber optic communication so fiber optic communication is a class 12 science concept so fiber optics nowadays widely used over the world wide and it is a source of the internet it is a source of the data it is a source of the internet of the things artificial intelligence and everything so this is a very powerful technology in the 21st century and it will lead the human mankind in new era so after you have so much uh, i know very well either you don't know what is a fiber optic communication but every students of 12th grade or 11th grade have heard the concept of the light speed of light and fiber so if you go around the roads and people digging the roads and put some yellow color wires and red color the big wires big bundles are there underground and there are the fibers basically So this fiber is used for the mobile communication, it's used for the data communication, space communication, satellite communication. So this is a very advanced in technology, but you should understand fundamentally what is this yellow wires, the pink wires they are putting inside the roads, and how will this simple wire carry the signals? It is not possible with the previous signals, okay? A previous wires like coaxial cables or wires that not able to carry big amount of data. But what is inside these fibers? so i will tell you about the fundamental physical concept of the fiber in this lecture so basically fiber fiber basically is a fused silica material okay and fiber have a three different layers fiber optic wires so these three different layers helps to maintain the light inside the fiber core okay so i will explain you the physical concept here first one is the outer one here Okay, this is the outer one. It's a clad. It is only cladding. This is outer one, yellow or pink layer. You uh, see inside the uh, houses are there. Uh, so on, on the road there and inside the houses also. So basically, not three, basically four layers are there. So outside the roads, there is a fourth one layer, a protecting or jacket layer. Okay, but inside the house, the yellow wires are there. There are three layers. This is the outer most layer. outer most layer okay the very thick jacket which from the made of plastic and fused silica materials which uh, protect these wires inside the wires for damaging from the cracks and other things so in the inside layer there is a jacket Okay, so this is a protecting layer, and inside it there is another layer. This one is the clad, and inside the clad there is one more layer, core. Core is the central part, fourth one. This is one, two, three, four. Okay, so core is made of fused silica. fused silica and this fused silica is a SiO2 and so what happens here these are the four layers okay and in the fiber they have a different uh, sources of the light they will send the light from the source and directly transmit inside the core it will enter this uh, it will enter inside the core light will start 
reflecting and bouncing back from the corners and going away. This is the concept of the total internal reflection. They will strike here and go back further. Okay. So this is the angle of incidence, angle of reflection here. Okay, angle of incidence, angle of reflection here. Angle of incidence, angle of reflection. Okay. So core have lesser reflective index and clad have a higher reflective index. Okay. So then there is a concept of the total internal reflection from the which it will help to transmit the light. Total internal reflection, the concept which helps to transmit the light inside the fiber core. So inside the fiber there are three fundamentals. First one is the outermost layer, outer layer. This is the here the roads, okay, outer layer. Second one is the buffer layer. Okay. Third one is the cladding. Fourth one is the core. Which core is the main which used to carry the light. A cladding helps to remain the light inside the core and buffer is a protecting layer and outermost layer is the thick jacket which cover the uh, because you put some fiber inside the water also you put fiber inside the dust also sand also you need a protection okay so this and these different layers have sizes also how much thick and thin are these so core is very very thin so around 9 micrometer to 25 30 micrometer okay this thin layer inside the carry of the light and cladding is the much a little uh, more uh, thinner a little less thinner sorry so it is around uh, 50 micron to 200 micrometer okay and buffer is a very very thin, thin layer are there so how this total internal reflection will take place you must have heard about the Sennel's law sign of angle of incidence sign of angle of reflection and the principle of bending of the light from higher reflective index to lower reflective index. So there is a reflective index inside the core and you must have heard about the reflective index in your lower classes as the reflective index is in everywhere in the air also, atmosphere also. When you see the uh, stars from the earth's surface, stars showing you blinking but actually it is not blinking, it is a from the earth atmosphere which shows have different layer and this changes simultaneously and your eye uh, when you see from the your eyes and uh, light coming back from the star to your eyes follow follow the different medium and that medium is uh, uh, different effective index okay so that is change in the angle of incidence and reflection okay like our air have uh, consists of different gases like nitrogen oxygen they have different Density. So air is the standard one, reflective index is 1 and there is few silica inside it, reflective index is around 1.445 and outside the clad uh, uh, it is 1.45, it's a little larger. So this uh, means the N3 is, uh, N3 is less than N2. So N3 is the reflective index of the core and N2 is the clad. So this one plays the role of the uh, total internal reflection inside the core of the fiber okay so in this lecture you must understand basically about the what is fiber fiber is made of few silicon materials it used to transmit the light with the help of the core inside the fiber which consists of the follow concept of the total internal reflection and different reflective index inside the core helps to transmit the light and we have four layers outer buffer clad and core so outer is the protective buffer is the protection of the Core and clad, and clad helps to maintain the light inside the core, at which angle is strike. So there are other concept after this one comes in the picture. Total internal reflection, how it works, and what is the angle of the incidence, angle of reflection here, and how all the types of losses inside the fiber there. Because when you send anything from the medium, it has some loss because it act as a medium acted as a force to it. Okay, uh, I hope this all things clear to you. 
If anything further left, you can uh, in our channel you can ask the questions and like and subscribe our video. Thank you.